friends i am suresh madra okay so uh, as we know that rest is an architectural style and uh, give lots of flexibility and uh, since it uh, give it it give a developer of an opportunity of an openness it become also important to know what are the best practices when you design your restful web apis so i am going to walk through couple of best practices that you can apply when you are designing your restful apis and these uh, best practices have been uh, employed by google facebook twitter and so on so i hope these ses- series of session will really help you in designing your apis so let's start so first principle is the use of noun in your web uri now what is a noun a noun is here is a resource now when you are designing your uh, an application let's suppose i am designing an application which will list all the products so in my web application product is my resource like in amazon it is you you have different products so within product you have home appliances books movies etc now we are going to use noun to refer those resources don't use verbs to refer those resources in restful world it is bad in traditional models what we have been using is to use the functions or the services methods that give you those results for example if i want to list down all the employees of my organization or i want to list all the products from my cat- catalog what i have been using as my traditional in my uri is slash list all employee slash list product slash list all product update product delete product and so on now these are in traditional models we were using verbs to identify our resource and do some kind of an action however when we design our web apis the best approach is we should use the noun in our example let's suppose i have a web resource photo now i will use slash photos to list down or to display all the photos from my catalog we have the http methods which will help you to perform those actions which i will discuss in my next slide keep verb out of base url now in this tabular you can see in the traditional approach i am using get all photos however the best practice is to use slash photos if you want to create a new photo or create a name detail of an employee or want to enter a new product into your catalog so you will use the post http method to perform an action and the uri is photos same if you want to delete any record you will simply say http verb or http method as delete and you will say i want to delete a record x so uri will be become slash photos slash id so it is not a good design to use 
the verbs in your web array. That's the principle. Principle number two. Resources are handled by HTTP verbs. Now we have four verbs which are available in HTTP specification. These are get, post, put, delete. In database, we perform four operations, create, read, update, and delete. Create is for creating a new instance. Reading means searching a record and displaying the results. Update is means you are going to update some metadata of your record or an entity and delete is deleting that entity from the repository. Now we can use the HTTP verbs to perform these CRUD operation. So read to read or to list the results we use the get method. To update any record we use the put method. To delete any information we use the delete HTTP method and to create a new record we use the post method. Now in this slide we need to understand for example if I have a resource employee I want to create a new information of an employee so what should be my web URI? In restful world we will use slash employees and I will pass the HTTP method as post. So it will create a new record into my repository. Slash employees with get method will give me the list of all employees. Slash employee with HTTP method as put will help me to update all the attributes or specified attribute of all the employees. The difference between post and put here is in post we create, in put we update. If I want to delete all the employee details, I will use slash employee with the HTTP method as delete. Now if I have a specific element or specific record which will help me to create or to get that data of that employee I, are, I want to delete the information of an employee so I will use my URI as slash employee slash the ID which will help me to identify that the resource. Now we don't use the ID when we are posting that record. Why? Because that record don't exist and hence the API should return an error. If I pass the HTTP method as post and my URI is slash employee slash ID. If I want to list an employee having an employee ID 191, so I will use slash 191. Slash 191 is my ID of my resource. Same if I want to update a detail of an employee, I will use the HTTP method as put and I will pass my URI as slash employee slash 191 and same is for delete. Now what I understand from this slide here is for two URIs, I can perform eight actions and I don't need to use those verbs which I have been using in my, my traditional approach. Just like I was using get employee, list employee, 
delete employee update employee other than that i will use the http methods which will work as a verb for me and the uri will remain as a noun as i have explained in slide 1 principle number 3 now when i use a noun whether that noun should be a plural or singular the best practices is we should use plural when i am using my web resource for example slash employees slash products slash repositories and so on a singular noun might give a confusion how many employees it is going to return when i will use slash employee with get http method so the best approach is we should use the plural which will help me to update or to list collection of resources the important tip in this slide here is for a developer that when they are designing their web apis they should not use both the naming convention for your noun means they should either stick to one approach that is keeping the plural in the entire web designing web api design naming convention or keep singular otherwise a consumer a developer who is going to consume your web apis will get confused from your documentation principle number 4 now what is the level of abstraction which we should i use when i use my uri means if i say slash product now what it will list in my catalog for instance i have 40 categories home appliances or electronic products books movies and so on so when i say slash product so slash product means what whether it is going to list me all the products from my category from my catalog or what so we need to be careful that to what level of abstraction you are going to give when you are designing your web apis so i will cover many other principle in my next session thank you Bye.